jobs I had and have, mainly um, editorial or rep company jobs. I mean, the editorial stuff was really on the hoof. It was like turn up, find a location, get what you can get, you know, because you've got a limited time. And and that is what, in a way, the, the way I like working best. It's like, you know, you put me in a CD and it's like, after an hour, I'm kind of bored. You know, there's nothing else I don't know what to do. So I, lo I love the challenge of, of finding something good out of nothing. You know? Um, probably, yes, I mean, I'd say 80% of, of everything I've done has been like that, has been, um, you know, uh, turn up, do the job, make something out of nothing, or, you know, and a lot of the time you turn up and you're in a hotel room and you have to make the best of it and maybe you might use a corridor outside or the window or whatever, but you've got limited time and it's, sometimes it's horrendous, you know, you've got nothing to work with and you have to think very fast on your feet right. to get results and it doesn't always work you know a few times um it's been off so. to be honest it's i don't really believe a lot of people when they when they Say that because you can't control the situation it's like well you can if in certain circumstances but most of the times I have such a little time to work that you know you may have a, a preconceived idea when you go in but your mind is is on getting the picture and getting it technically right and stuff and really it'll go out the window as soon as you meet the person so you know Half the time you're just thinking about getting a good picture, you're not, well I am, I don't, I can't speak for anyone else, but. Many, many times I've had that, when, you know, you've had an artist who's been shot 12 times already that day, because that's their day of press, so you've got your half an hour or whatever, and you turn up and they just don't want to, for example, I shot Lou Reed, um, quite a few years ago and he really didn't want to do it and he was just bolshy, shirty but he was quite interested in my camera and so we got talking about photography in the end and after 20 minutes he was he was lovely really so it's kind of finding common ground you know and trying you, know, you can't it doesn't always work you can't always talk about Gwen Stefani I shot the uh, No Doubt once and they were just miserable all the way through <laughs> It was the hardest, you know, half an hour of my life, you know, it really was, but, yeah. Um, not really, it's like uh, breaking the ice, if any, any social situation, if it's like you, you turn up and the person doesn't want to talk to you, doesn't want to have their photo taken, is grumpy, you need to break the ice, and so it's kind of, it's like a, any social situation, really. And, uh, and after a while, I've become good, quite good at that, you know. And uh, often when I take photographs, I forget to breathe, you know, because I'm concentrating. And so the amount of times I've used that line, and it normally breaks up because, you know, I'm not breathing for <laughs> 40 seconds or something. And it's like, um, I tell that story and it kind of gets the person talking. But I don't know, everyone, everyone has their own little anecdotes and stuff.